Oh, Wi-Fi doesn't work. Dear friends, welcome to my video. Today we are going to make cheap and functional Wi-Fi jammer. It's easy, cheap and simple. Let's get started. Hi, I am Electroni. This channel is all about electro, chem and science experiments. Subscribe to this channel now if you don't want to miss any future video. In this video we will be making this Wi-Fi jammer using this ESP8266 Note MCU board. The project is really simple, cheap and easy to make. Only things what you need is Note MCU board and some micro USB cable. You can find link for the parts in video description. First of all we need some software. First software we need is Arduino IDE. If you don't have Arduino IDE, link is in video description. Then open up Arduino IDE and go to Arduino Preferences. Copy this link from video description and paste it to URL field and press OK. Now go to Tools, Board and Board Manager. Type ESP8266. Select version 2.0 and click install and wait. Installation take quite a bit long time. After downloading, go to Arduino preferences. Click to this link and close Arduino IDE. Then go to packages. ESP8266, hard drive, ESP8266, 2.0, tools, SDK, include. In this folder, open up user interface. Go to end of this file and paste code from video description before hash and if and save file. Now download project from video description and open it. Go to SDK fix and copy these two files. Now go ahead to folder 2.0 and open libraries ESP8266 Wi-Fi search and paste two files here and click to replace. Wi-Fi jammer is also ready. Plug our ESP8266 into computer and open Arduino IDE. Open project folder and open our project. Now go to Tools and select board Note MCU 0.9. Then select port. If no port is found, don't worry. Download this driver from link below and restart Arduino IDE. Final step is uploading code. When code is uploading, blue LED starts blinking. Now open up your mobile and go to settings, Wi-Fi and connect to PVNet. Default password is the author. Click to info and remember router ID. Then open web browser and type router ID. Click to this button and there is hacking menu. You got it. Click to scan and select Wi-Fi to jam. Then click on attacks and click doubt. Now selected Wi-Fi is disabled. For test I try to load any pages but Wi-Fi doesn't work. For second test, I open pink state with terminal. This Wi-Fi jammer can also create fake Wi-Fi's. Scroll down and click add. Then write name of fake Wi-Fi 
and click OK. Click to save and now click beacon. Our fake Wi-Fi's in list are displayed as shown. Clone button will add 48 fake Wi-Fi's with added name. And random button fill a list with random named Wi-Fi's. In settings you can change name and password. Please don't check this box. Now you can easily prank your friends and people in McDonald. As you can see your Wi-Fi jammer is finished and fully functional. But don't forget it's illegal. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I want to see you next time.